Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up, squad? <laughs> yeah. So, Twin Flame Conversation for the week. Yeah. <laughs> I really don't have much to start off with. Um, it's been an interesting week. Lots of detachment. Um, Jasmine, from Jasmine in July, she described what she's feeling as <laughs> feeling like she was kicked out of the out of the club or something, and I totally get that. Um, I totally understand what she means by that, because I kind of feel that way too. Well, at least I felt that way, um, because the energies have just been so different. Um, I'm not feeling things the way I used to, mainly because I'm very much detached from the whole situation. But the thing about it is that the thing that I know... Um, or that helps me, you know, helps keep me focused and keep me understanding that I'm absolutely not in any way off this journey is that nothing around, you know, all of the steps that I've taken to better myself and to, um, you know, get back to the things that I'm passionate about and to really work on my soul mission, nothing about that has changed. It's just the feelings surrounding <clears throat> the relationship with this person who I consider to be my twin flame. And if others of you are resonating with this, you kind of, you understand what I'm saying. It's just the, the feelings are different. The energies are different. They're not as intense anymore. I mean, I barely feel any of those energies anymore. I'm just so focused on myself and my journey and my life that um, I guess I don't even really have time or the mental space to be occupied in the way I was before. Um, it's great because it's relieving, <laughs> to be quite honest. It is a huge burden off my shoulders and if you're resonating at this level then yes you're feeling like it's a burden off your shoulders as well that doesn't mean that we've we've jumped off the path we've decided to move on from the path we've decided to we have and it doesn't necessarily mean that we've decided to um you know pursue other people it's just i guess what really kicked the detachment in for me was understanding that there was so much more to this journey and to my life and to my purpose. And for you guys, it's the same. There's so much more to it than this romance, which really isn't even freaking romance to begin with, or at least not romance that we have come to understand it in a three-dimensional sense, right? Um, it's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of struggle. But honestly, once you get through that period of hard work and struggle, it gets easier at some point <clears throat> um, because you've grown, because you've become stronger, because you've developed a deeper sense of yourself. So for those of you who are just now awakening to the path and you are really going through the rough, rough bullshit of it, hang in there. You know, um, and I know this is way easier said than done, but really focus on yourself, your growth, your spiritual and conscious expansion, um, your ascension process, the things that bring you fulfillment, the things that you love to do, what it is you want to be doing as, you know, in your life, what is your soul mission, focus on you, not necessarily, and I know this, again, this is much easier said than done, but you really have to focus on yourself and not focus on your twin at all. <laughs> and that doesn't mean that they're not going to be in your head, like in your mind, like at this point, you know, I'm not focusing on it the way I used to be, but that does not mean he's not still in the back of my mind. Um, but your conscious energy needs to be directed at what you are doing in this world. What, what do you need to heal? What do you need to pursue? to bring yourself fulfillment, to fulfill your soul mission, stuff like that. Yeah? Oakley Doakley. All right, so I've got the usual suspects here. I've got my two decks. Um, the deck on the left is a Tarot Apocalypsis deck. That's going to be symbolizing the Divine Masculine's energy. The deck on the right is the Tarot Illuminati deck. That is Illuminati, excuse me. That is going to be symbolizing the uh, Divine Feminine energy. And then um, I'm going to be doing the relationship spread from the animal spirit deck. But I'm also getting extra oracle guidance this week because I really am being called to do so um, from uh, the oracle of unicorns and the crystal mandala deck. Uh, oracle of unicorns is going to be action guidance 
you know, physical 3D guidance um, and advice from spirit and from the unicorns. And then the crystal mandala deck is going to be spiritual guidance. Yes? Coolio, yo, guys. All right, so let's settle in, everyone. Yeah, take a deep breath. Let's connect. All right, so something to keep in mind. Spirit is pushing me to say this before we even begin. This is, in fact, a general reading, okay? This is a reading for the collective. If you want something more specific, please reach out. Send me an email. I am available for private readings. Or reach out to another reader that you are, you are resonating with, you are drawn to, um, you are feeling guided to contact and get a personal reading there, okay? Do not come into, save yourself the trouble of coming into a general reading expecting everything to resonate with you and then when it doesn't, you get triggered or upset. It's a general reading, guys, okay? Also, while this is a weekly conversation, this is not time specific. All right, so this could resonate with you at any moment in time. So if this doesn't resonate with you now, maybe save it for later. Um, and if you feel called to come back to it and watch it again, maybe it'll resonate then. Um, you could find this reading two years laid down the road after it's published, 10 years down the road after it's published, doesn't matter. If it resonates with you at the time that you're watching it, then that means the messages are for you. Yes? Okay, so. Hey Spirit, <laughs> please make me a clear channel for the Twin Flame Collective. Please bring forward the best messages for the Twin Flames for this conversation. And um, what else? Please give us an accurate representation of the energies of the Divine Masculine represented by the deck on the left and the Divine Feminine represented by the deck on the right. And please show us how they are interacting with each other individually collectively and as counterparts and please bring forward all messages for the highest good of all involved thank you so much spirit all right so i'm going to start by shuffling the divine masculine's deck as usual um i have to say i'm feeling really bubbly and um kind of mischievous at the moment <laughs> Um, while I was channeling here, Divine Masculine, I was seeing some like electrical, electric, like electric greenish, I don't know, it's just like this, this bright green color, like electric green color. So it was an almost like a tealish color too. So it was kind of just, it was giving me this mischievous, playful energy. Interesting. Not really sure where it's coming from right now. But anyway, shuffling for the Divine Masculine here. Okay, Divine Masculine, we're gonna give you two more shuffles. Divine Masculine. Oh, we've got a flyer, guys. The Five of Cups in reverse, okay. Oh, please excuse the manicure. <laughs> Um, I'm very busy and I don't always, I don't have enough time to redo my nails and I'm very particular about it because I, I get so angry when I screw them up because I want them to be perfect. I'm a Virgo rising. Leave me alone. <laughs> anyway, back to the cards. We've got the five of cups in reverse popping out of the divine masculine's deck and I'm being guided to look at the bottom of the deck and we've got the two of swords. So divine masculine energies, um, 441 on the counter. Divine Masculine Energies, even though you are releasing this regret that you're feeling, you're still at a stalemate. You're still not making a move. Um, you're still trying to figure out how to make a move. And um, it is because you are coming out of this, this Five of Cups energy that you're, that, you're, that you're in this, we'll call it a stalemate, but it's not exactly, it's not truly a stalemate. Some of you are being incredibly stubborn, yes, and are just refusing to make a move right now. But that's not really, that's really not what I'm truly feeling because as I'm going deeper into the energy and I'm looking beneath the surface here, I'm feeling like, oh geez, <laughs> I'm not paying attention. I'm feeling like the reason why you're kind of in this stalemate energy, you're not really making a, a decision or a move is because 
you are understanding things differently. It's because you're seeing things differently, okay? So it's not all that bad, okay? I get it. Now, guys, keep in mind that, as always, these readings are meant not just to be a way to see what's going on with your twin, but also the, the, the main reason for this reading is the main intention for this reading. I'm sorry. Um, sorry. One more shuffle for the Divine Masculine. I'm a little bit all over the place right now, but that's okay. Um, the, main, the main intention behind these readings is to understand... Um, what's going on with the internal balance of masculine and feminine energies within you, yes? And keep in mind that I am no longer doing readings for un twins in union, twins in separation, all of those specifics. If you are guided to my channel and you are guided to watch this video and it's resonating with you, then that means there are messages in it for you, so just take them and move forward, yeah? All right, Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine. I'm seeing a lot of white energy. Um, now that I think about it, that energy that I was seeing before, that playfulness, that mischievous energy, that's definitely coming from the Divine Masculine. The Divine Feminine is just... It's just covered in white. Purity, divinity. That's nice. <laughs> but it's also, I'm getting a connection here. It's also divine feminine. It's also influencing the divine masculine to be a little bit more playful, to be a little more lighthearted, okay? That could be also influencing this shift. We've got a flyer. We've got the hermit. We've got... The Empress uh, reversed, and we've got death. Um, what I was saying before was this, the, this this white divine energy that is surrounding the divine feminine right now is influencing the divine masculine to release this Five of Cups energy, this regret and remorse and um, shame even. Um, and this is especially for those of us who are really balancing, are really coming into a deeper balance of masculine and feminine energies. Um, as you do that, you, whatever the inf whatever side of the equation is putting forth more influence, that would be felt on the opposing side. And so, if you're really balanced between the two, then you will experience both the um, the 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 inspiration and the reaction. I guess, for lack of a better term. All right, guys. So flyers for the Divine Feminine. So far, we've got the Empress in the reverse and the Hermit. So this is talking about uh, many of the Divine Feminines that are feeling out of sorts with the um, journey. They are going within, okay? They're, they're, they're taking time to look within to find some answers. Um, so I do, I am picking up that some of you are, you know, going to readers or, you know, on YouTube looking at readings, trying to figure things out, but you're but you're under the understanding that you need to really get your answers from within. And then, okay, all right. So here's the deal, guys. We also have the Wheel of Fortune and we have Death. And both of these are upright. The Hermit is also upright. The Empress is reversed. And I'm not really seeing the Empress. Well, uh, first of all, the Empress is symbolizing the divine feminine energies, okay? And I'm not really seeing the Empress in reverse as a bad thing, especially since I am resonating with this 100%. Um, we've hit a period, or many of us, the divine feminines, have hit a period where um, we've really gotten deep into, into detachment. And so now that has caused the energies to shift, and we're not feeling things the way that we used to. Um, and again, this is not for everybody, but this is for the, the collective of us that I'm connecting with um, that are going through this moment. So we feel out of sorts within ourselves and with the, the, the journey uh, itself. Um, and so that's causing us to go within with the hermit here. Now, what is also being influenced by the hermit energies or this hermit moment is um, uh, the wheel of fortune and death. So cycles are coming to an end. Karmic cycles are coming to an end. Um, the cycles within the twin flame relationship, uh, the relationship that you have with your twin are come with, well, I'll just say it, with your divine masculine, because this is from the divine feminine's deck. So 
the the cycles um, the I'm hearing the negative karmic cycles that you've been experiencing with your divine masculine are coming to an end with death okay with the wheel of fortune but this is coming to an end because you divine feminine are putting a stop to it you are going within you are seeing things differently your your mind is clear and your energetic field is much more clear of a much more you've you've um wow you have really cleared your energetic space and your mind um and you have much more clarity about the situation. And so you can see things much more objectively. You've also been working on releasing expectation, releasing your divine masculine, releasing the, the, the codependent energies around the relationship. And so now that has put you in a position, an advantage, to be honest, to look at things objectively and say, well, if he's not coming back, or if I never see this person again, if I never sp speak to this person again, if we never reach physical union, that's just fine. Because ultimately, I have learned so much, and this is, the, this is a, a direct ch channeled message from the Divine Feminine Collective. Ultimately, I have learned so much about myself and have grown so much on this journey, on this path, that I don't need that external validation anymore. I have the, inter I have the validation that I need, and that comes from my connection with Source. Okay, if you have not reached this point yet, this is something that's going to happen. Um, you are, I feel a lot of, a lot of the, 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 the people or the divine feminines that I'm connecting with right now are entering this, this stage right here with the Empress in Reverse and the Hermit, um, are starting to dive into the Hermit moment or have been in a Hermit moment for some time and are, and are actively working through this with the Wheel of Fortune, working through all of these, and, wow, and then there's the Chariot. The chariot just wanted to come out. Um, 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 so some of you are actively in this hermit moment and you're working through this cycle, the ending of this cycle with the wheel here. Um, some of you are in the process, like I am, of coming out of this hermit moment um, with this transformation in your hands, with, with death in your hands. And with death comes a rebirth. And with that rebirth, we have the chariot which is moving forward in your life, regardless of the external circumstances, is what I just heard. Because if you are in, the, if you are in this stage of the cycle where you are emerging and being, in essence, reborn as a new version, a better version of yourself than you were when you entered, you are absolutely much more aware of what, you, you're, what you're driven by, what you're going towards, what you want to experience, what you want to create in your life. And you're much less attached to the physical outcome, meaning you know exactly what you want to experience in your life, but you don't, you really don't care. I'll just say it that way. You really don't give a flying fuck where it comes from because ultimately you know that you're in alignment with yourself, with your heart, with your higher self, with God, with source, creator, the universe. You are in alignment with divine will and you know that everything that your heart is desiring will be fulfilled to you in divine right timing by the right people, by those, by, by, by uh, in accordance with the soul contract that you made before you came here. So here you are, divine feminine. Once you come out of this hermit mode, you will be emerging transformed brand new and moving forward with the chariot and moving quickly divine feminine yeah and this is why divine feminine the collective at least that i'm connected with right now is so shrouded in white it's this protection it's almost like you're in a cocoon right now divine feminine okay all right one more shuffle then we'll cut the deck 144 guys we were, we were just at 144 and change on the counter um all right cutting the deck and then we're gonna start with the divine feminine energies okie dokie oh underneath the deck overall energy we've got the king of cups okay so wait let me backtrack a little bit everything that i was just talking about when it comes to these flyers um, I want you guys to also look at that as a re as what's going on, just like I said in the beginning of the, video, the reading, but this applies not just to the spread, but to the flyers that came out. So if you want to like go back and watch that section again, 
with this in mind. And all I'm saying is um, please look at that as what could be happening with your internal balance of masculine and feminine energies, okay? So even as I was speaking about what the Divine Feminine Flyers were, um, I was res I was feeling, even though I didn't say it at the time, but I was feeling that there were some Divine Masculines that were connecting with that, that were feeling this energy, and not just because their Divine Feminine was going through it, but because they were actively going through it as well. So take it as, take that as it resonates. If It doesn't matter if it's coming out on the Divine Feminine side or the Divine Masculine side. If you're resonating with it, the message is for you, okay? Excellent. So, Divine Feminine Energies, we've got the King of Cups. So this is... Um, this is really you connecting with your divine masculine energies. This is you um, healing, I'm, I'm seeing, healing your wounds when it comes to receiving love from a masculine energy, okay? Um, this, I'm just going to say it, this is your divine masculine showing up in your overall energies. Um, we've got the four of wands in reverse. Boop. We've got the Ace of Pentacles, and underneath all of that, we've got the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So what does all this mean? Well, uh, energetically, there is a rejection. There is a release of false and fraudulent and unhealthy foundations, okay? So inter on the internal balance front, um, Divine Feminine, you are connecting with the masculine energies and the both of you are working together to reject and release all of this foundational atmosphere, or this energetic re reality surrounding masculine and feminine energies that have been generated over the last few centuries, we'll say, okay? And this it's this programming that we've all been in, twisted masculine energy, twisted feminine energy, and just that back and forth, that is now being healed, okay? And the divine feminine is leading this. Um, and so that's what the four of wands is standing for. And then ultimately, you will have an ace of pentacles. You will have a brand new start in a physical sense to move forward with. With the five of pentacles in reverse here, this is a rejection of feeling out, left out in the cold, no longer feeling left out in the cold. And this is most le this is mostly because divine, divine Feminine has gotten into, or is in the process, of getting into a much more um, stable and um, self-sufficient <clears throat> and self-secure state. The five of pentacles in reverse is talking about no longer needing external validation. <laughs> okay? Period. Because it's from that external valid validation or that, that need, that codependency on external validation that you that one can be susceptible to being left out in the cold. Why? Because when you don't get it, you feel rejected. And then you feel like these people walking around in the cold snow, feeling like, well, everybody's in there in that warm spot having fun, being nice, and here I am all outcast. Girl, please, let them outcast you. Let them cast you out. Go on, have your own party. Watch it be better than theirs. I'm sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting petty. <laughs> but, but the, see, that's kind of, that's kind of the energy I feel around it. It's like, all right, cool, y'all, whoever talking to X, Y, I'm really not even talking to somebody specific. This is just how I understand it. If somebody doesn't like me, if somebody doesn't want to talk to me, if somebody doesn't want to be around me, that's cool. Go on, do your thing. Like I am so very happy being on my own, being with myself. I can sit here in my room and amuse myself for hours on end. Why? Because I've done the work to rebuild the relationship with myself. And that is what the Divine Feminine is doing. That is, the, that is the energy that the Divine Feminine is moving into. That is what the Ace of Pentacles is symbolizing here. Okay? Now, on the other side of the situation, this is, in fact, your Divine Masculine coming through. <laughs> You can hear my enthusiasm in my voice, can't you? <laughs> anyway, your Divine Masculine is coming through here, and it's very similar to what's going on on an energetic level, okay? Your Divine Masculine, um, for the most part, is starting to understand that there is faulty foundation here. And this is him looking at this faulty foundation from a very mature point of view. For the most part, the Divine Masculine, those who are embodying the Divine Masculine energy, have really been working on uh, 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 
acclimating and becoming comfortable with their emotions, which has, has been influenced by the emergence of the divine feminine energy and them and the rectification that's been going on between the divine feminine and the divine masculine energies. And so now that the divine masculine has reached this, this certain point of emotional maturity, even though you may not be seeing evidence of it, like they still be made, playing some of those same games that they were in the past, but on an energetic level, like deep down, they are reaching this point of emotional maturity that's allowing them to see the faulty um, foundations here represented by the Four of Wands in reverse. And um, ultimately, from this realization, there will be a new start, an Ace of Pentacles opportunity of some sort. And it has to do, ultimately, with the union, okay? Four of Wands is a union card, guys. So what I'm really seeing... Okay, yeah, you see that? What I'm really seeing here is... is this is kind of like a timeline. Um, where there's the Divine Masculine... Um, back there as the King of Cups, and he's kind of looking at this Four of Wands in reverse saying, hmm. And then the move from Four of Wands, we go to Ace of Pentacles, so it's 144 on the counter. Uh, well, actually, it was 2144 on the counter, but still. Um, the action steps are, how do I create a new reality here? That's kind of what the Divine Masculine is saying. Wow, all of that and just in the overall energies. Okay, so <laughs> let's get into your storyline, Divine Feminine. Starting off with the Two of Cups in reverse. Yeah, there's a blockage here. Um, and I'm really picking up that this is questioning. For the Divine Feminine, this is like... <sighs> Hold on. Yo, oh, okay. And the devil in reverse. So, yes, this is exactly what I was picking up on. I just didn't really know how to put it into words. The Divine Feminine is looking at this soulmate connection, this twin flame connection, and I'm hearing is actively rejecting it, but is not rejecting it because she's angry, because she's fed up, because she's pissed or whatever. She's rejecting it because of the devil energy that is surrounding it, the toxicity, the codependency. Like I said, the Divine Feminine has really reached a, a new energetic space where she's seeing things in a very, very different way. And because there has been balancing between masculine and feminine energies, now the Divine Feminine has a greater place, is in a, a, a better place to look at things logically instead of just being so consumed by emotions, okay? And logically, yeah, there is Two of Cups here. We do have a deep soulmate connection, but on the surface, like, because the Two of Cups is similar to the Lovers, but the Lovers is more on a spiritual level. The Lovers is the major arcana, so that represents spirituality. The Two of Cups is the, the three-dimensional, the physical aspects of it, okay? So this is, the, this is the 3D representation or the physical representation of this soulmate connection. And in the physical world, there is all kinds of devil energy wrapped up in this relationship. And the Divine Feminine is aware of that. Has been aware of that for a long time, but because she's been so caught up in her emotions, she hasn't really been able to take the steps to detach enough to say, I'm walking away from this. I do not deserve to be wrapped up in this devil energy. And I, even though I've tried Divine Masculine, this is Divine Feminine speaking, even though I've tried Divine Masculine, even though I've tried knowing that I couldn't do it anyway, I still tried. I can't change that for you. The only thing I can do, the only part that I can take in clearing up the energies of this relationship and in letting go of the devil energies of this relationship is to walk away. And then you have to do your part to clear up the energies. And once you do that, then we can come back together. See, this is all that divine masculine energy coming through. Even though I'm in the divine feminine spread, the divine masculine is still coming through here. So, do you understand? The, the, do you understand? Yes. Okay. Let's move forward. We've got the fool in reverse. Whoa. With the seven of swords in reverse. Um. Okay. So this is again another representation of what was going on in the past. In the past, the divine feminine was absolutely very foolish. Knowing that there was Seven of Swords energy around, knowing that there was deception and um, lying, cheating, stealing maybe, 
she still played the fool for her divine masculine. But this isn't happening anymore. It's just not. And there really, there really is nothing else I want to say about that. Other than maybe you can even maybe you can even feel the difference in my own energy. But I'm as I'm sitting here doing this reading right now, my I I'm really feeling how different my own energies are because there's a lot of logical masculine energy coming through, even though I am using my um, intuitive faculties. It's it's a strange feeling, guys. It's a really strange feeling. Okay, moving forward. You've got the Eight of Swords. So there's still some sort of mental prison here. And this is absolutely talking about um, why the Divine Feminine needs to go into this Hermit mode. Okay. The Eight of Swords. Yeah, but we have the Sun. The Sun is in reverse. Um, the Sun is in reverse. So this could mean, you know, some depression, some anxiety. Um... But ultimately, I mean, I'm not seeing this as a bad thing, though. The sun, okay, so the sun is in reverse, so that means that there is some illumination. Okay, that's what it is. There is some illumination here that needs to be seen, all right? And so this is why the Eight of Swords is here, but the sun, of, the sun is in reverse. There are a lot of Divine Feminines right now. This is a blockage for the Divine Feminine Collective, or at least those of us that I am channeling right now. Um, there is almost like a refusal to see, to allow some things to be illuminated. All right. Um, yeah, that's just how I want to say it. There's, it's almost like, so, I, I'm really, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm literally seeing the woman in this eight of swords card being like, no, no, I don't want to look. I don't want to look. No, no. And it's like the sun is here shining like, well, you're going to have to look sometime, honey. If you ever want to get out of this mental prison, if you ever want to free yourself, you're going to have to look at this. And that is codependency with the devil. Now, please, I'm being very stern right now. I apologize. I love you guys. Um, but please understand that I'm not judging anyone. I'm not trying to come down on anyone. Guys, I've been through this myself, okay? So it's not like I'm trying to judge anybody. So please, I know my tone is a bit stern right now. I'm not really sure why. That's just the energy I'm feeling at the moment. If that is triggering for you, good. Dive into that trigger and figure out why you're being triggered by the tone of my voice right now. Maybe that's something you don't want to see. Hmm. But the sun's trying to illuminate it for you. Yeah. But literally, that's what I'm seeing with the sun here in reverse and the eight of swords. It's almost like the sun and the eight of swords are trying to, are like combining <laughs> to make a nine of swords energy. Because I'm, I, I, I am physically, literally seeing the woman in this card, like, like shaking her head, refusing to look at something, refusing to take off the blindfold, refusing to walk over to one of those swords and cut all these ropes off of her. And then here's the sun like being like, look, I'm just going to stand here and I'm going to shine my ass like nobody's business. You're going to have to do something about it eventually. <laughs> it's up to you. You are the only one that can free yourself from this mental prison. Divine Feminine. Okay? Finally, in your spread, we, ooh, there you are, the Empress. And you are upright this time with the Page of, not the Page, the Knight of Cups. Oh, man. Oh, man, Divine Feminine. I'm seeing this two ways. Uh, two and a half ways. Okay. The first way I'm seeing this is, the first thing I saw actually when this came, when these two came out was I saw the Divine Feminine moving forward in a new direction. Um, this could be love. Like this could be pursuing or connecting with a soulmate. Um, now, this does not have to mean... Now, even, yes, I did say love, but this does not have to mean romantically. And this was the point five. This could be um, you, Divine Feminine, moving forward in a way that is emotionally fulfilling. Okay? Now, I do, I do feel compelled to point out that Aluna Ash did 
mention recently that she was seeing the divine masculine m manifesting uh, a partner. This could be a romantic partner. This could be a business partner. This could be a friendship, whatever. But rom uh, uh, manifesting a partner to help the divine feminine heal. Now, this was supposed to be a temporary situation, most likely. Well, actually, yes, a temporary situation because ultimately we're supposed to come back to our twin. But this could be that. Okay, this could be the divine feminine connecting with a soulmate, having some sort of romantic relationship with a soulmate for a short amount of time. Uh, this could be the divine masculine coming forward towards the divine feminine with some sort of message. And now that, and recognize that this is not a page of cups. This is a knight of cups. Okay, so this is a much, it's not the king necessarily, but the king, but the reason why it's not the king is because the king is up here already. And so the knight is coming forward as the messenger this time, bringing forth this cup that the king is meaning to offer to the divine feminine, to the empress. Okay? I don't know when this is going to happen. I'm being compelled to, to remind you guys that this is not time sensitive. This is the current energy. This is, this is what is... I'm really seeing as these... I'm starting to see this spread is evolving a little bit to me. And I'm starting to see these last two sets of cards as something specific, okay? We've got the second to last spread with where the Eight of Swords and the Sun in reverse. This is the challenge. This is the obstacle. This final card, these final two cards here, the Empress and the Knight of Cups, I'm sorry, yes, the Knight of Cups is, is the outcome. And this would be the outcome should you, Divine Feminine, keep moving forward with this Hermit situation, getting to the bottom of it, seeing the things that the Sun is trying to illuminate for you, and cutting yourself out of this mental prison, detaching, going forward on your path, on your mission, focusing on yourself. Because ultimately, as your mind, as your mental activity changes and your focus changes from that of your divine masculine to that of your own mission, you and on an energetic level, you're freeing up energy for the divine masculine to expand even more. Because, because really. When you're putting so much uh, mental focus on your divine masculine, you're kind of you're you're kind of like enclosing him. You're kind of like I want to say smothering him a little bit energetically, and so he he doesn't really have space to expand. Please understand that when I say he or she, when it comes to the divine masculine, divine feminine, I'm just speaking of the energies, not gender. But do you get what I'm saying? Like. Divine Feminine, continue on your path. Continue focusing on you. Continue integrating your masculine energies with your feminine energies. And ultimately, it'll bring you guys together. I mean, we do have the Four of Wands here with the King of Cups in the overall energy. And even in the last reading, I was saying, didn't they come out together in the last reading? The King of Cups and the Four of Wands? Maybe. But I was saying, I remember saying in that last reading that Union is on the Divine Masculine's mind, guys. 33, 33 on the counter. Union is on the Divine Masculine's mind. So just keep focusing on you, all right? Okay, I'm rambling. <laughs> Let's get into the Divine Masculine energies. Starting off with whoop, 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 the wheel in reverse. Now, I'm going to say this is a little bit of mirroring because we already had the wheel come out for the Divine Feminine's deck um, as a flyer. Okay, we've got the wheel in reverse. We've got victory with the six of wands. We've got the eight of wands in reverse. <laughs> oh, man. And we've got the two of swords again. I'm sorry. That was a really evil laugh. Um, but it's just that I'm just seeing, I'm just seeing through all the facades and it's, it's starting to get funny. It's really starting to get funny. The Wheel of Four, and, and I apologize. I know that's probably not the nicest thing for me to say right now, but I'm just going to be my authentic self. Boop. There it is. So we've got the wheel, in, the wheel or the Wheel of Fortune in reverse with the Six of Wands. And all I really want to say to the Divine Masculine right now is, really? Really, Divine Masculine? Is really all that good with the Six of Wands here? Because I'm pretty sure the Wheel of Fortune in reverse is you actively rejecting or, yeah, rejecting the endings of a cycle. Again, look, I love you guys. I love you guys to death. But I'm very much the Queen of Pentacles when it comes to situations like this. 
The Queen of Pentacles is stern. She's loving, she's graceful, but she's stern and she's not gonna put up for the bullshit. And, and the, to me, the Queen of Pentacles is very much like the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is a lot scarier than the Queen of Pentacles, let me tell you. And I'm an earth sign, I'm a Taurus, sun. So I get, so, so when situations like this come up and somebody is, or there are energies of people refusing to move forward, even though they know they need to, and then doing things like putting up this face with the six of wands here, like they're living their best life. That's frustrating to me. It's very frustrating to me. And I'm going to tell you why I know Divine Masculine is rejecting the end of these cycles because we have the Eight of Wands in reverse. Eight of Wands talks about communication, yes, but it also talks about swift, accurate, precise movement. And both of these are in reverse right now. That's okay. Because the Wheel of Fortune and the universe are saying right now, just like... The universe was saying to the Divine Feminine, okay, so good, here's some more mirroring. It's not in the same cards, but it's in the same energies. The Divine Feminine has the Eight of Swords and the Sun in reverse. The universe is trying to illuminate some things for the Divine Feminine, and she's, in some cases, for whoever that's resonating with, her obstacle right now is that she's refusing to see some things. She's refusing to cut herself out of this, out of this mental prison. She's refusing to take the blindfold off. Well... Divine masculine, masculine, excuse me, Divine Masculine, you are mirroring that situation in the sense that you're refusing to end these cycles, to allow these karmic cycles to come to an end. You're refusing to move forward. You're refusing to make a decision with the Two of Swords. And to both of you, to both of us, the universe is saying, "I right, guys, cool. You can only resist for so long. Ugh, this is a heavy message this week. Okay. All right. This is probably why I was feeling guided to pull some oracle guidance here. So let's get into the storyline for the Divine Masculine. Starting off with, look at that. There's the mirroring in the cards, the Four of Wands in reverse. With the Tower in reverse. All right. All right. So good. Okay. So this is talking about... This is talking about what I was picking up with the King of Cups here and the Four of Wands in reverse for the Divine Feminine's overall energy. The Divine Masculine, and now these two are reversed because you're in, this is a process. This is not blockage this time, okay? This is a process. This is the process. You're in, the Divine Masculine is very much in a tower moment. And there are some Divine Feminines that are working on balancing your energy that have gotten to a certain point where you can feel this tower moment because you're having your own tower moment when it comes to the foundations that have been put in place between the masculine and the feminine energies, okay? All of this is interchangeable. But the divine masculine is, wow. And I'm feeling, I, I'm feeling quite a bit of compassionate, compassion for the divine masculine in the physical sense right now. Like those individuals that are holding the masculine energy because y'all have been in this tower moment for a long time. I want to say like four months. Y'all have consistently, whoever, whoever I'm connecting with at this moment, Y'all have been consistently hitting one tower moment after another. And I feel for you. <laughs> I feel for you. Like, personally, I've come to a point where I can kind of appreciate the tower. Um, I'm not so much resistant to... I'm not as resistant as I was to the nudges of spirit because I've gotten to a point where I really feel like I can trust spirit more than I could in the past. Even though, even if they're, direct, they're guiding me to something... That makes no sense whatsoever in the moment. Ultimately, I know eventually I'll figure out or I'll be informed as to why I'm being guided in this way. So it's not like I resist so much. And normally why people are so afraid of the tower moment is because they're in so heavy resistance and in such heavy denial to what spirit and the universe is saying to them that eventually the universe is just like, I right, screw it. I'm going to just do it for you. And then you have a tower moment, then you have that extreme destruction, then you have all of a sudden everything is just torn to the ground, okay? So I, I have quite a bit of compassion for the Divine Masculines that are have been hitting, and I'm, I'm really getting, it could be four weeks, but for most of you it was about, it's been consistent for about four months now. You've just been getting 
the shit kicked out of you by the universe. <laughs> and I don't mean to laugh, but I mean, that's, I was just trying to lighten the energy there because whatever, but I get it. Okay, let's move forward. We've got, ah, hello, can I get an amen? We've got the Ace of Swords, Divine Masculine. Yes. Hell yeah. Ah, with the Emperor in reverse. Yeah, I know what that's saying. Um, there are a lot of Divine Masculines out there that are becoming aware of this Twin Flame Collective, this Twin Flame Journey, this Twin Flame Label. And they've been hitting these tower moments and now they know that there's, they, they've got to do something about this because they're recognizing with the Ace of Swords and the Emperor in reverse, they are recognizing that they are the Divine Masculine. And they're recognizing that this person that they've been going through all this bullshit with is their Divine Feminine. Hey guys, check it out. Divine Feminine, you showed up in your spread, in your energies. Divine Masculine, you're showing up in yours. That is excellent. Um, and I, I appreciate, I re, I'm really appreciating seeing the Emperor in reverse here with this Ace of Swords upright, because to me that's really saying 1444, I'm sorry, 4144 on the counter, y'all. Um, sorry. The Ace of Swords upright is saying in relation to the Emperor in reverse is the Divine Masculine is getting it. I literally just heard the Divine Masculine is seeing the error of his ways. And is working towards fixing it. Is what I just heard. But now I'm sitting back like, I. Right, but then what were we talking about with this overall energy here? Patience, honey. Let, okay. <laughs> the universe was just saying, it. don't worry about it. Let them go through their, let, let people go through their cycles. If somebody is in, is, is having a really rough time with something and is acting, is throwing kind of a temper tantrum, let them do it. Let them get that energy out there. Don't shame them for it either. Maybe like I was in the beginning of the divine masculine energy. I wasn't trying to shame you guys though. I was just, I was picking up on the frustration of the universe, really. It's like, <laughs> it's like, come on, guys. How much you, like, really? All right, fine. You can resist all you want, but you're probably just going to end up having to have another tower moment. So go ahead. <laughs> okay, moving forward. I'm going to say this is your obstacle right now, Divine Masculine. We've got the star, aw, and that's upright, and that is coupled with temperance in reverse. Okay, so, okay, all right, cool. Divine Masculine, your, your obstacle right now is wish fulfillment, is healing, is following the star even though it's taking you somewhere that you have no idea where you're going or how you're going to get there. Okay, coupled with the fact that there is healing and balancing that's taking place, temperance. Your biggest obstacle right now, Divine Masculine, is patience. And I know a lot of you are feeling like reckless, or not reckless, maybe reckless, um, but restless is more what I was trying to say. Because you know, you can feel that your Divine Feminine is, is, is walking away, is moving forward with her life. And in some situations, it's getting to a point where there's becoming so much distance between the two of you that you don't even know how... 4411 on the counter. You don't even know how you'll be able to get in contact with this person again. Because some of you have gone so far as to not only block your Divine Feminine on social media, but like delete your delete their number, block your Divine Feminine's number from reaching you. Like you may have even changed your number. The Divine Feminine might have changed her number too. So, 44, 44 on the counter. Um, faith and hope and balance are your obstacles right now, Divine Masculine. Divine timing, patience. Divine timing with the Wheel of Fortune here. All right, finally, the outcome for the Divine Masculine, we have, ooh, the King of Wands in reverse with, the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. 
Okay. This is a bit of a mixed message, guys. Wow. All right, so I'm seeing a few things here with the King of Wands in reverse and the Nine of Pentacles. I'm seeing a, an extension of um, this Six of Wands energy of putting up this brave face as if everything's okay. So this is a physical representation of it. Um, this is another confirmation of it. The Divine Masculine, and, and understand that the, the King of Wands is the um, three-dimensional depiction of the Divine Masculine. And you have the Emperor here also in the, the Divine Masculine's energy. So you, Divine Masculine, are still feeling at odds with yourself. I'm really feeling like you want to step into your true King of Wands upright power and not be the King of Wands reversed anymore. But you're in the process of doing that. But you're also putting up this face of, you know, independence. And the Nine of Pentacles is upright. So you very well may be independent. Okay? But again, it's a, it's, it's a mask. It's a face. It's like you're putting on this show for people to show them that you're okay, that you're good, that you're happy, that you know, that you got all your, you got your shit together, got all your ducks in a row, blah, 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 but you don't. You don't when it comes to the things that really matter to you. And you have no idea how to get there. I'm really seeing the Divine Masculine in many cases just standing in his, 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 um, material stability and, and independence that he's created for himself over his lifetime and just kind of looking at it and being like, well, this isn't really what I wanted. Because what I really want is with this person, the Empress. But I'm here, King of Wands reversed in the Nine of Pentacles. And I don't know how to get out of it. Well, Divine Masculine, the universe is trying to help you. But you're resisting. <laughs> Putting up all this energy. You've got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, the Eight of Wands in reverse, with the Six of freaking Wands. Like, really? <laughs> but ultimately... Divine Masculine Energy. Ultimately, Divine Masculine, you're starting to get it. Because you do have the Ace of Swords here. And the, the, um, the, the Wheel of Fortune is also a message for Divine Feminines to have patience. Allow this cycle to end on its own, Divine Feminine. You cannot stop, you cannot do this for them. Okay? I'm also seeing with the King of Wands in reverse and the Nine of Pentacles. Um, and the Nine of Pentacles in this deck is a fem... Well, they're mostly feminine energies in all kinds of decks. But um, the balance between masculine and feminine energy is influencing the Divine Masculine to see how he's been the King of Wands in reverse. By standing in, in his independence and like in his empire, we'll say and looking over and seeing the fruits of his labor and his harvests and all that and being like, uh-oh, ooh, 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 that's not so pretty. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get into the relationship spread here. You know, I thought this was going to be a shorter reading, but apparently not. Because <laughs> we're already at 49 minutes. And I am still being called to do the Oracle guidance, so... All right, animal spirits. One card to symbolize the divine masculine energies. Now, this is not just your divine masculine in the physical sense. This is not just your divine feminine in the physical sense. This is about symbolizing the internal energies, okay? The masculine and feminine energies that we all contain. So, for the masculine energies, one card, please, spirit. Lamb. For the feminine energies, one card, please, spirit. Divine feminine. We've got buff. 
Um, I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna do that again. I saw Buffalo, and then I saw the dolphin pop out again, and dolphin was what the Divine Feminine got last week, but... Okay, one, one card, please, Spirit, for the Divine Feminine Energies. Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine. Okay. <laughs> hyena, all right. And the hyena did come out in reverse. So I'll talk about that in a second. For the uh, shadow dynamic of the relationship. The shadow dynamic of the relationship. One card, please, Spirit. There. Lion. Ooh. And for the illuminated dynamic of the relationship. One card, please, Spirit. Illuminated dynamic. One card, please, Spirit. You really need the... Oh, 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 there it is. Oh, wait, no, there are a few of them that I switched over, so let me just... You guys have probably... I had my eyes closed, and y'all were probably sitting there watching me flip these cards, being like, um, Eric, um, Eric, there are some cards that are... <laughs> okay. Uh, but I had my eyes closed, guys. I couldn't see. I couldn't see. I'm so sorry. All right. There it is. Boop. We've got Beaver, and Beaver is in reverse also. Um, so I am going to turn it upright for now, but I'm going to, I'm going to talk about what that could mean. So for the Divine Masculine, we have Lamb. Oh, here we go. All right, Lamb. Peaceful, prophetic, patient. The Lamb is the bearer of an important message. It contain its contents can only be heard when a deep level of quiet has been established. Lamb energy is the honest guidance you hear from an old friend, a young child, or sometimes a surprising stranger. Though the lamb's message may channel through another person, the wisdom resonates with you. It will repeat and reverberate until you listen. Approach this gentle creature with utmost patience and reverence. Truth is a gift. Sit still, listen, and receive. When in balance, lamb experiences knowingness and inner peace. When out of balance, lamb is quiet, timid, and concerned. To bring into balance, one must practice meditation and just straight up listening. And this was absolutely talking about the divine masculine energies, what I was picking up on about they're like heavily in resistance to allowing these karmic cycles to end. They're not, they're, they're, they're resisting moving forward. They're resisting communicating, communicating with the eight of wands. Uh, yeah, the eight of wands. Most of that is because they're still in the process of this tower moment. These tower moments, we'll say. But at the same time, I'm really, I'm also getting a message of there are, the universe is trying to bring messages through for the divine masculine and they're so logical and practical that they're not allowing the messages to be accepted. They're just kind of looking at them like, yeah, whatever. Oh, that will work. Or oh, that can possibly what that means. That couldn't possibly be whatever, X, Y, and Z. Oh, I don't believe in that shit. Blah, blah, blah. Lamb is the energy I'm sorry, lamb energy is the honest guidance you hear from an old friend, a young child, or sometimes a surprising stranger. A young child or a surprising stranger are really standing out there. There could be some situations where divine masculine energies are dealing with their own children or some children around them, and the child says something brilliant or says something that is like exactly what they needed to hear at that time, but because it's coming from a child, they're not going to take the message. That's poopy, in my opinion. But that's, that's, I mean, that's what I'm picking up here, okay? All right, Divine Feminine, we have Hyena, and that did come out in reverse. So I already feel like there may be some situations where the hot, where, um, um, well, all right, let me just read the card. Humor, wit, sarcasm. The hyena personality is a jokester and crowd pleaser, but below the surface, there are unfulfilled dreams to be realized. When the hyena card appears, it's time to reflect on your reliance on sarcasm and humor to express your truth. Are you using jokes to hide old resentments in relationships or to mask things that you feel uncomfortable discussing? What would happen if you took your goals seriously? So I kind of feel like that there are some divine feminines out there that are trying to like laugh it off, like it ain't no thing, but inside they're like, crying their eyes out. That's not fair. Honor your emotions. When in balance, 
Hyena is charming, witty, and fun to be around. When out of balance, hyena is scrappy, petty, and suspicious. To bring into balance, one must practice sobriety. All right, for the shadow dynamic, we have lion. Where you at, Lion? Where you at? I do that all the time. Here we go. Lion. Patient, regal, a complete master. The lion is a master of the fire element and the living mascot of self-transformation. A lion personality dedicates their life to personal and spiritual growth. This dedication inspires some and intimidates others. Therefore, the lion is respected by all but known intimately by few. Some mistake the lion as hard to access or aloof, yet those with a keener eye know better. Lions are observant, stealth, and precise in their words and actions. They do not waste energy on res or resources. This card reminds us that self-mastery is available to all, no matter where our quest begins. When in balance, lion is the epitome of peace and strength. When out of balance, lion is withdrawn and too serious. To bring into balance, one must practice daily meditation or friendship. Um, and to be quite honest, that is absolutely the shadow dynamic. That is what's going on underneath the surface. That is what is driving this situation. Self-mastery, okay? Ascension, illumination, expansion. Self-transformation. Absolutely. So this is the undercurrent here. This is the lion. This is why Divine Masculine, if you're questioning why you're going through all this bullshit, self-mastery, this is why. Because this is what we came here to do. Those, that same goes for the Divine Feminine. Why, why is the universe putting this shit in your face and forcing you to, to face these things? Self-mastery. Ascension. Do you get it now? <laughs> All right, finally, we got, for the uh, uh, Illuminated Dynamic, we got Beaver. And Beaver did come up in reverse. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Beaver, hardworking, loyal, tireless, family first. This came up in reverse, guys. The Beaver personality is a welcomed sight. These good-natured and dependable creatures have infinite love and enthusiasm for family and express it by way of the Earth element providing a home and financial stability. Although a beaver doesn't usually initiate a project, once started, they'll work steadily for weeks, months, or years to see it through. The beaver card appears when the task at hand requires your long-term steady effort. It can also signify that it's time for some karma yoga, selfless service. When in balance, beaver is happy and doing meaningful work. When out of balance, Beaver, it feels useless and is worn out. To bring into balance, one must do some physical labor or selfless service. So, all right. So Beaver came out in the reverse because of this energy of not wanting to continue on this path. And this is coming out for both of us, the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine. Um, I, first, I want to say, if you are, if you are uh, connecting with your heart, maintaining an active connection with your higher self and following the guidance that you're receiving from within, you are in fact on the path. And just, I would encourage you to continue moving in that direction. But if you are of an energy of resisting and rejecting whatever it is your higher self is calling for you to do, whether you're a divine feminine or a divine masculine, this is why the beaver energy is coming out in reverse, okay? Um... There it is. <laughs> There's nothing else to say there. Okay, so I'm going to get some oracle guidance. Now, this is going to be action oracle guidance from the unit from the unicorn. Okay, um, these are I, these are physical steps, things that you can do in your conscious 3D reality to help move you forward on your path. Yeah, and I'm going to ask for three cards. I mean, well, I'm seeing that there are three messages, so three cards. Okay. All right, spirit. So these are for both divine masculine and divine feminine, the collective, the twin flame collective. Okay, those of us that are resonating with this message, this video right now. Three cards, please, spirit. Three cards. One. Celebration. Okay. Two more cards, please, spirit. 
two more, two more, two more cards, please. This one, action. Woo-wee! Okay, one more card, please, Spirit. This one. Delight. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So the first card that came out is celebration. A positive outcome is assured. Celebrate your success. Enjoy your achievements, okay? Look, no matter what, guys, you may be feeling down in the dumps right now. Understand that you are not the same person that you were six months ago. If you're on this Twin Flame journey, if you are resonating with this message right now, you are not the same person that you were six months ago. And you need to honor that. You need to, you need to acknowledge that in yourself. Celebrate that. You've grown. You've changed. You've become a better version of yourself than you were in the past, okay? Because of the action that you've been taking. Action. Now is the perfect time to act. Take inspired action towards your dreams. Move forward with confidence, all right? But please understand, like Divine Feminine, this does not mean to take action towards your, your Divine Masculine. No. This is taking action on your path. Take the action that you need to take for you so that you can do what it is you came here to do, so that you can heal, so that you can expand, so that you can grow, so that you can become the better version of yourself that you know you are and that you know you're heading towards. Divine Masculine, this is you taking action towards allowing these karmic cycles to come to an end. Pulling yourself out of this indecisive Two of Swords energy. Oh, geez. I just realized the Ten of Cups is underneath that Two of Swords. Ooh. Anyway, um, take action towards your goals and your desires and your dreams. And okay, for the Divine Masculine, this is different. If you have desires to go towards your Divine Masculine, I'm sorry, your Divine Feminine, start taking the action. Start taking the baby steps. Start cleaning up the situation within your life that could that would block you from your Divine Feminine. Take the action. Stop resisting. Okay, finally we have delight. Count your blessings and enjoy life. Take pleasure in simple things. Always expect the best. So Divine Feminine, stop expecting the worst. If you're gonna expect anything, now I'm gonna say to you also, release your expectations, but if you're gonna expect anything, expect the best. But this is another message of celebration. This is the same. Honor yourself in recognizing that we have all changed. We have all become so much different. We are not the f heavily fragmented people that we were before. Sure, we've still got some fragments floating around in the ether that we're trying to get back, but it's nowhere near where it used to be. Right? So delight in that. All right. So, finally, I'm going to game, game, <laughs> get uh, two messages from the Crystal Mandala deck for spiritual guidance for the Twin Flame Collective in relation to this reading. Wow. This was, this was an intense reading, but at the same time, it's a really good one. All right, Spirit, two cards, please. We've got one. Crossroad of Destiny. I know that's right. Wow. Okay, one more card, please, Spirit. One more card for the Twin Flame Collective. One more card, please. I'm just being silly. There it is. Her Golden Grace. Oh, God, that's a beautiful card. Wait, hola, hola. Look at this guy. Oh, the, oh man, there's three. Okay, so the second card that came out is Her Golden Grace. I mean, look at how beautiful that card is. My, my. Wow. And finally, the third card that came out, would you believe it? Rare success. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm super sassy right now. Whatever. Welcome. Hi, I'm Eric. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, card number 42, Crossroads of Destiny. All right, we bring you the empowerment of the Crossroads of Destiny. You are at a pivotal point on your life journey. 
This may be obvious to you with a potentially life-changing decision before you. Or you may not realize the impact that an ap apparently insignificant choice is going to have on your future. Either way, you are at a point where you can leave the past behind and chart your course for a new adventurous chapter to begin in your life. This, does, this is not something you need to be frightened of. It is a sign you are progressing on your path. The crossroad of destiny happens when you have mastered a cycle in your life and a new cycle is before you. It is an opportunity that you can take best advantage of by listening to your heart. Um, there's a very specific message that was coming through with that. For divine feminines that are afraid of detaching and seemingly leaving your divine masculine behind and thinking you may never see him again and being afraid of that, do not be afraid of that. Let go. Okay. <laughs> Card number 38. Her Golden Grace. Boop. All right. Her Golden Grace. We bring you the empowerment of her golden grace. Divine Mother Lakshmi, who brings blessings of enlightenment and prosperity, beauty and good fortune, smiles upon you now. Open your mind to the reality of divine generosity without limit. Open your heart to feel worthy of her love. When you allow her to grant you bounty to bless you with her golden grace, she is empowered to shine her divine beauty in the world to heal, uplift, inspire, and enchant the souls in need. That's beautiful. That is really beautiful. Um, there's also another message for the Divine Masculine that was coming through for the Crossroad of Destiny, and that literally just came through I was, as I was reading her Golden Grace. You are also at a crossroad. Do not be afraid to take the steps in the new direction that your heart is calling you to take, okay? Ultimately, and I've said this to you guys before, I'll say it again, ultimately, though the people that fall out of your life because of this new direction that you're taking because it's your higher calling it's because your heart is calling for it because this is what you truly desire let them fall just let them go because ultimately you are clearing space for people that are truly meant to be with you and are now more resonating with you more in your new level yeah finally we have card number 53 rare success and I think we all can already, <clears throat> can already tell what this is about to say, but I'm going to read it anyway. Ooh. Oops, 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 oops. Give me a second here. So sorry, guys. So sorry. Here we go. Rare success. We bring you the empowerment of rare success. You are bringing something utterly unique, special, and precious to the world. Whilst there are creations that are worthwhile and valuable, which can manifest swiftly, there are others that are laborious of love. I'm sorry, there are labors of love requiring diligence, strength, and long-term commitment to bring them to life in the world. This is absolutely reflecting the message of Bieber. Boop! <laughs> These exquisite creations are the divine manifestations of rare success, that which shall stand that which shall stand the test of time and offer a legacy of comfort, encouragement, and divine grace for generations to come. And this is absolutely, just this card alone, Rare Success is speaking directly to what the true nature of the Twin Flame journey, the Twin Flame experiment is. Bam, bam, bam. So there it is, guys. <laughs> there it is. I hope you would, I hope you enjoy it. I, I'm i sorry if I triggered anybody with my stern and rigid tone of voice, but literally that was just the, I mean, I was all happy and bubbly before, you know, you started, you heard me say that when I started the reading, but then as I started to get into the energies, it changed. I was just channeling, picking up on what I was feeling. And I'm not about to hide it. I'm not about to mask it. I'm all about transparency and authenticity. I'm all about us honoring our emotions. So if you're feeling a certain type of way, feel that certain type of way, but feel it with intentions of releasing it and healing and moving on moving on moving on moving on and feeling better yeah i already feel better <laughs> anyway i love you guys thank you so much for tuning in um and i look forward to connecting with you guys um next week for our next conversation yeah take care Mwah! bye